Hi, I'm Mr. Simons, and in this video, we're going to go through where you can find out when all of Australia's economic data is going to be released. So the day and the time and how important it is. I'll show you the specific website that I use to keep track of when data comes out. Very helpful for knowing uh, when's the next thing for GDP coming out, when's inflation, when's unemployment. The thing you should know about Australia's economic data is it's very stacked towards the front of the month, the start of the month, the first couple of weeks are action packed and then not so much towards the end. Anyway, let's show you what I use. So here we are at the Trading Economics website. A very, very big fan of this website. So Trading Economics slash Australia slash calendar. I'll put this down in the description so you're able to access it very easily. So you can see here that it's got, I've done this for September 2021, that for each day that data is coming out, it tells you all the things that are happening. And you might think, well, how do you know when something's important? So that if you look at this little guide here is that if there's just no bold or color, it's not very important, it's low. Medium is bold and red is high. So if we look here, red Thursday, September the 2nd, balance of trade. So this is current account. That's when those figures come out. You can see here GDP growth rate for the second quarter. I would think that that's a red, but you know, what do I know? Um, and GDP growth rate year on year for the second quarter. You can also see that uh, some other statistics here. And what's useful is it tells you what it was previously. For example, here it is Thursday, September 2nd, 2021, balance of trade. It's telling you previously it was a surplus of around 10.5 billion. If we go further down, you can see here Friday retail sales for the month of July, and MOM is month on month. Whereas if you go back here, YOY is year on year. YOY is year on year. So if we go to some important stuff that the first Tuesday of the month is when the RBA meets, except in January. So here you can see RBA interest decision and the previous that it's been, um, building permits, business confidence, NAB, the bank, produces business confidence. You can see here that the chart pack, which is extremely useful for graphs and statistics, is there. Anyway, you can see all this stuff here. Friday, 17th of September, employment, unemployment rate, participation rate. That's when that comes out. RBA meeting minutes, all of those sorts of things. So that you can see that really in the first couple of weeks, that's where all the big chunky numbers are. Ah. In terms of like looking ahead into the future, you can just go dates and you can choose a particular month or time frame to see when things are coming out. So if you're going to look ahead to October, you can think, okay, what should I look out for? What's going to be happening? I find this really useful because I don't often know the exact date that data is coming out. And this is very helpful for keeping it tracked in one central location. Anyway, Hopefully this was useful to you and that you will always know when the key data you need will come out to include in your shorts and your essays and just to know for your lives, maybe to impress your friends with, who knows. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.